I mentioned earlier how many characters are a combination of slender, delicate parts and broad parts, and how it's often necessary to create separate lighting for each, um, so that you don't have, say, the same soft lighting contours on the fingers as you do on a big fat belly or something. Cutout character rigs typically have complex networks, uh, but to avoid things going from crazy to ridiculous, the key is to organize main groups with their own lighting. So for this character, the hands definitely needed their own lighting because they're uh, skinny fingers and slender. But all the other limb segments, uh, upper arm, forearms, uh, shin and thighs, uh, could all share the one common lighting group because they're all kind of similar widths. The torso and head have their own separate lighting setups too. And um, oh, there's just a carving patch on the face to inset those eyes a bit. Now, one thing, it isn't really a problem with this setup, but let me just illustrate with this other normal map I've prepared for the limbs. So with this particular normal map, you can see that the limb segments are showing up. The way to fix this is to set all of the limb composites to pass-through mode. This ensures that the light is applied to the whole limb rather than the segments individually. Also in this example, um, if we pan down and move the light to a low position, you can see the character's feet have this unwanted underlight. So I want to fix that by adding a patch of color and setting its modeling override to 100. Uh, those parts of the feet are better lit. Remember that using carving patches like this, you can fix a number of lighting issues. And as explained in the previous video, I've added this color patch to its own sub layer to keep it separate from the main drawing. And that concludes this series on the new volumetric lighting features in Toon Boom Harmony Premium. I am still Adam Phillips, and I wish you the best of luck with your own lighting effects.